Can you tell that acrylic markers are like my new favorite art supply because I'm... But I really like using them, so I wanted to try to find more colors. I just didn't want to spend that much money on them. So I found these two, which ended up being about somewhere around 30 each. The first ones that I picked were these. And apparently also with these, you get stencils, which I didn't realize, that's kind of cool. With the Shuttle Art pens, it looked like they were the same size as the Posca pens that I like, but also it seems like the color range was pretty normal, which is good because there were a lot of regular colors that I felt like I was missing. So with these, for the most part, it seems like the formula is super similar to the Posca pens, which is really nice because they are like a fourth of the price. But it really didn't seem like there were that many that were defective, I guess. Like some of them were just a tiny bit dried out, but I think if you shake them up enough, it'll be fine. So I'm not too concerned. I like the colors and I definitely like the price. So these are good. And then in addition to those, I found these which for some reason come in this really fancy box. The colors in this are so cool. Like they're just, I don't really know how to explain this decision other than it gave me such a Rose Art crayon vibe. Like the colors were not a traditional set of colors, which I really like anyway, but also when I'm already buying 36 markers, that are traditional colors. I don't want to spend another $30 on more markers that are the exact same colors. That seems like a bad way to spend your money. It's a lot of random bright colors and then just a bunch of neutrals, which I don't hate. These kind of seem like the formula is a little bit weird. I don't know, it kind of seems like the ink doesn't want to absorb into the paper, which is not a problem that I've had with any of my other acrylic pens. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I am really happy with these colors though. There's all the swatches of those. Here comes the part where I've had to refilm so many times because I don't know what my plan was for using these in a project. I just, for some reason, had these ridiculously high expectations for the finished product and it just every time I tried to do something with these it just didn't come out right at all <laughs> which you know it happens but it happened five times mostly so finally I just let go of the plan which I think is important in a lot of cases with art like you just psych yourself out by having this perfect idea of what it's gonna look like and then if you just doodle something you're always gonna end up liking it more than the thing that you planned out meticulously for like a week so a lot of hand gestures because I'm <laughs> I don't know I'm a hand gestury person I'm sorry but that's just you should know who you're dealing with and it's me and it's this, so, sorry. I ended up just doodling something and it ended up working. So, here's that. <laughs> so for this one, I just decided to use all of the paint pens that I have at this point together and just kind of see how well they work together because honestly, I'm still going to use all of these even though some of them aren't necessarily my favorite because I feel like they're still usable, even if they're not the best quality. And also I feel like it makes you appreciate the finished piece more because you know how difficult it was to get to that point. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what this is, to be honest. I just kind of started doodling and this is what happened. So for this one, I'm gonna do a little bit of a less involved paper cutting for no other reason than I just really like doing them. I don't know. Probably because I'm really bad about not doing backgrounds in my paintings, so this is kind of the sneaky way to get out of that. I thought about trying to do a summer version of the witch that I did for the Christmas video, but I just... I feel like I would need to plan that out more, so this is kind of just some sort of grouchy elf, I guess. I don't know. So 
I'm just trying to blend all of the peach markers together and kind of see if I can get some sort of gradient without having to water down the paints and go over them with a paintbrush or anything. And then just outlining in red because for some reason I just really like the way that looks. And then just kind of trying to decide if I want to add more shadows with a pink, which kind of works. And then I'm just kind of planning out where everything else is going to go. Some sort of pose, not really sure yet, just kind of doodling, seeing what happens. I don't know why I had so much trouble trying to draw the feet on this, but it, it's just, yeah. And then I'm just kind of blending that out with my finger a little bit because the Zara markers, for some reason, just don't want to dry down? I don't know why. And unfortunately, this is the part where I ended up losing like 10 minutes of footage, so it's just gonna jump to this part. Which honestly, you didn't really miss much. I just um, did more skin tone and then colored in a swimsuit, so. And then I'm just attaching the arms and everything with the Mod Podge, which I definitely prefer over any of the other glues that I've used. It dries a lot more transparent, which I like because I do tend to accidentally put too much glue. And then just kind of going over the hair outline because it did get lost a little bit when I cut it. And now I'm just taking some of this semi-transparent paper and making some sunglasses for her. I really like this paper. It's super useful and stuff like this. And then to cut these out, I'm using the same thing that I've used for everything else, which is scissors, because I am not good at using an X-Acto knife at all. I don't know why, it's just the scissors are so much easier. So unless I absolutely have to use an X-Acto knife, I won't. And then just drawing the little earpiece and the nose bridge on her face so that it looks like the glasses are actually on her instead of just floating. And then with stuff like this, definitely coat the entire back of it in the Mod Podge before you attach it because if you don't, it will leave a very obvious glue spot. But if you cover the whole thing, you won't be able to see it, so. And there she is. I didn't intend for her to be the right height to lean on a soda can, but there you go. I like her. And I may or may not have been coloring with these off camera as well. So here's some of the things that I have also drawn with these just in the last like two days, I think. Yeah, so. In conclusion, I'm just waving her around. I don't know. I really like these. Are we surprised? I don't love these as much as the shuttle art pens, but again, the colors are really nice with the exception of those two metallics that are exactly the same color, but you know, that's their business. I don't care. They require a little bit of extra effort with these, but I feel like for the color options, it's kind of worth it, so. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for being here for uh, whatever this is. And please, please, please wear your mask. Please be safe. Please keep using the hand sanitizer because <sighs> stay safe. I will see you guys in the next one with honestly, probably a sewing video because I haven't sewn a stuffed animal in like six months, which is extremely weird to me because that used to be my favorite thing to do. So I think I need to do that. It might be Animal Crossing related because I might have bought the colors to make cube. So I'll see you guys uh, when that happens. Stay safe.
and I will see you next time. <laughs>